grand rising, my beautiful subscribers. Give me one second, so <laughs> How's everyone doing this morning? So this will be for the Divine Feminist, okay? Spirit want me to do a Divine Feminine read, Divine Feminine message, okay? See what's going on with the Divine Feminist. Abundance and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. So you guys are growing, okay? On your path and on your journey, your spiritual journey, as well as you guys are also very much abundant, okay? Let's get more spirit and gratitude at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Spirit guys, ancestors, and the high white light with messages you have. We have courage, okay? I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So you guys are facing your fears at this time and moment, which is beautiful. Okay, what when, when it comes to putting yourself out there and stepping into your creativity. Okay. We also have gratitude, adversity, okay. Gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities opportunities that it presents. So you guys are definitely thankful for everyday life. You're thankful for all the achievements, accomplishments that you guys have succeeded in so far, okay? You guys are finding confidence within yourself, okay? You guys are tapping more into your intuition, tapping more into your third eye, okay? You guys are very much in tune within the universe. This is adversity card. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So you guys know that the experience that you go through in your everyday life is opportunities for you to understand more within yourself, okay, on what it is that you learn within those mistakes, okay, throughout your everyday life. Let's get one more card. If we have indecision, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Once again, you guys are trusting more into your intuition, okay, opening your third eye, okay, understanding what is going on around you. It's just ways for you to learn, okay, and grow and expand your consciousness in your everyday life, okay? And then the seven of wands. So I was uh, shuffling this deck, and I seen the seven of wands in the tower. So I was like, you guys dodged a tower, okay, because you guys are in your own bubble as well as you guys are protected. And then I also seen, ooh, look, the levers. I cut open the deck. And then it, there you go again. So you guys are blocking yourself off from a lever, okay? It could be Gemini energy, okay? Divine feminism, the Ace of Cups. You guys are protecting your heart is what I see with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups, which is understandable, okay? Because you guys already learned those lessons when it comes to love, okay? You already been through those cycles when it comes to love, and now you guys are getting justice for that. Some of you guys can have new love around you, new love all in your energy, okay? Because someone could have been sneaky, in the past, let's see. Spirit guys, what messages do you have for divine feminists? The ten of cups and the fool card. So you guys took a leap of faith towards your ten of cups, okay? Emotional fulfillment within yourself, pouring back into yourself, okay? Trusting more into your own happiness and trusting more into yourself, okay? <laughs> But seven of wands, it just won't leave. Yeah, you blocked yourself from an emperor, okay? So you guys are not speaking or talking to your divine masculine, okay? You put this person on the block list. You cut them off, all right? You guys are definitely manifesting queen of wands with the eight of pentacles, okay? Putting all y'all creativity into y'all businesses. I'm here. Let's get more messages, spirit. This emperor also sees you as their happiness, okay? So this emperor could have tried to reach out to you, okay? And they could have said something that you dislike, okay? They kind of try to interfere with your inner peace and you block this person. Some of you guys still had this block, this person on block for, it could have been up to seven years, okay? Or oh, it's like an on and off thing when it comes to you and this person blocking them, okay? The strength card. This person, you're definitely standing in your strength okay standing in your power when it comes to this emperor okay this emperor is getting weak but you are getting stronger okay and it's like this emperor is trying to find the courage to come into union we got the yep the four of wands ace of cups nine of swords okay but this person goes into like doubt i'm hearing doubt okay so it's like this person is trying to build up their strength within themselves. Four of Wands. Okay? 
to come towards you and offer you this ace of cups, their cup of blood. Okay? But they go into fear. And that's where this fear is right here. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So your emperor needs to face their com like your emperor needs to face their fear with the nine of swords and stand into this stand into their courage, okay, with the strength card in order to come towards you and be in union with you with the ace of cups and the full one. Okay? Nine of cups. Yeah, this person feels as though that you are the like a blessing in disguise. And then we got the tower moment with the ten of pentacles. Okay. So this person knows that you're a blessing in disguise, okay? But they're going through a lot of sudden shifts, yep, and then the devil at the bottom. And behind it, then we got the king cup. So it could be a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got Aries, Energy, Leo, okay? Capricorn. Could also be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which is nine of schools, okay? This person is still emotionally unavailable with the devil card. This person is def definitely obsessed with you. This person also could have been emotionally manipulative, I heard. Okay? Which caused a lot of upheavals in y'all relationship, within y'all connection. Okay? But this person knows that you're holding your, your cup of love back from them as well. This person could have, could feel like that you're celebrating or giving your love to someone else too. So it was kind of like stressing them out. It got them very mentally bothered. Okay? And that's why this person is in fear. Okay? This person also knows that you're happy without them. Like, you're fulfilled without them. Emotionally, mentally, physically, and financially. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so we got the seven of pentacles, okay? This person could have been planting negative seeds towards you with the devil and the tower and the seven of pentacles, okay? And now it's like they're feeling everything that they could have thrown out at you is what I'm hearing with the tower card, okay? Because you set a boundary. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the nine of wands, you set up boundaries and you block this person. Because you ended it with the world call. This person could have made made it feel like that. It was like, this person could have made it seem like the world was against you. Or other people was against you, okay? Could have been family, okay? This person could have made it seem like that nobody wanted to be around you. Nobody wanted to like, deal with you. Okay, this person could have been throwing a lot of negativity towards you with the devil call. Just making you seem like... Nobody else is going to love you like them. Okay, a lot of love bombing is what I'm getting with this Ace of Cups, for instance. Point blank free. Okay. This person could have also tried to, like, downplay your stability. Okay, with the four wands. But we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So that's Ten Ten. It's definitely a completion. That's why the world, came, world card came out here. Okay. So you definitely ended and completed this cycle, okay, with this person. It could have been generationally with the Ten of Pentacles, like ongoing, okay? It's like every time you open yourself up to people or you felt like you opened yourself up to people, they always let you down, nine of swoops, okay? And it puts you in a very emotional and mental bothering state. And then you always, like... Reject people, be resentful, nine of wands, okay? Like, you block people out. That's that seven of wands, nine of wands. But this person was emotionally manipulative towards you, and it's this masculine. And now they see that you're happy without them. You're starting brand, you're taking leaps of faith. You're emotionally fulfilled, financially fulfilled. You're focusing on your inner peace, seven of wands. You're dodging tower moments. This emperor is, is, is like... Going is look the devil in the tower. This masculine is going through hell. Okay, that's what I heard. Hell, like everything is going to shit around this masculine. But this is what they chose. They wanted to come around, love bomb you, and emotionally manipulate you. And the same seed that they planted for you is the same seed that they're going with the seven of pentacles because you got your boundaries up with this person, nine of wands. 
Like, it can't touch you. It's nothing touching you. Everything that this person threw towards you is blocked out. Seven of wands, nine of wands. Okay? Shit, even on the world card. Okay? Because <laughs> you was planting healthy seeds towards the universe. Okay? That's how your blessings were still able to be fulfilled within you. Let's get some more messages for you guys. More messages for, for the divine feminine. The knight of swords. But it came on top of the tower and the devil. So I'm going to leave it just like that. I mean... This person feels as though they can't make a move. Like, whatever they got themselves into, they can't get out of it. The Knight of Swords is sideways on top of the tower and the devil. And that's how spirit wanted it to come out. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune. So this person, they know that they're going through karma because the same things they threw out towards you is what they're dishing back. It's what's being dished back. Okay? Ten of Swords. Like, it's major endings. We got the Wheel of Fortune with 10 on it, ten of, with the 10 of Swords, and then we got the 10 of Pentacles, 10 of uh, Cups, like family, this person is losing family, this person is losing money, this person is losing friends, this person is losing relationships, okay, everything is going to shift around this person, this person also could be losing stability. A lot of people is betraying this person, okay? All because this person wasn't being truthful about their emotions and their feelings. Yeah, it's coming back to them, Six of Pentacles. It's coming back to them. It's like the boomerang effect. Because this person was trying to dish it out towards you and cause you stress with the nine of swords. Cause you to be in fear, anxiety, depression. Okay? Trying to cause you to be the one that's losing your mind, having delusions. But now this masculine is going through. Ace of Wands and Eleven. This person could have been worried about image as well with the Ace of Wands. Okay? Just all about how people view them and what people have to say about them okay could be a gemini with the lover sign this person could also was breadcrumbing you like this person always had their hand out for something and it was like you kept feeling like why should i continue to Put myself out there or even try with, with you if you continue to do the same thing repeatedly. Because this person was doing the same repetitive things over and over. Like this person didn't want to change. They wanted, they didn't want to see their errors in their way. Okay, this person was comfortable with doing these toxic behaviors. Because you're blocked, you're blocked from me. Like you're not even getting touched, hit, or none of that. Nine of wands, seven of wands. You dodged a major tower. And this person was trying to bring in your life. And now the same tower that this person was trying to bring in your life is the same tower that this person is happened to dodge and duck themselves. And it's causing this person to be in rage, I'm here. Like this person is in a lot of rage. Because you guys was like, you guys, you guys was very open to this person with the uh, food cop and ten of cups. Like y'all actually was open to giving y'all love, ace of cups, opening y'all doors to this person for a while. Okay, showing them what it feels like to have a family or be in a actual healthy family. You actually shared and gave your blessings with this person. Shoot, y'all even could have prayed together. Okay. In a sense, meditated together. You could, you were trying to show this person like the brighter side of life, like to make a difference. Okay, but this person's whole motive was to come in and put you through hell. Okay, 
And it could have been because this person still needed to heal from family issues or old wounds that they was holding on. Look, and then we have healing heart. Okay? Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So this person needed to heal from toxic relationships, toxic addictions that they was holding on to. It was keeping them very codependent. And they could have been codependent on family. Or family could have been codependent on this person. Okay? Which made this person very weak and vulnerable. Okay? So because they didn't know how to actually, like, control their ego, in a sense, okay, it made this person become very emotionally immature, emotionally manipulative, and very much emotionally vindictive. This person could have made it seem like that you was the one that was emotionally manipulating them, but it was them. Okay, and now this person is going through anxiety. Okay, this person is stressed out, not getting no sleep, not able to eat, barely can get the proper rest that they need because they're up all night. Okay, being tormented because the same hell they try to bring your life is the same hell that's being reaped out to them. Give me more messages for it. Love call. So this person is thinking of you and they want to let you know that. But how could they want to let you know they was continuing to be emotionally manipulative? Okay? And trying to cause blockage, blockages and obstacles in your way to slow you down from growing. Because this person felt like that you was growing too, like you was growing too fast. You was growing without them. This person also could have made it seem like that you wouldn't be able to grow without them. Okay, so you had to set boundaries, not in the wrongs. This person was making you feel less than, like you wasn't worthy for them. Okay, this person could have also made you feel like that you was ungrateful or you wasn't appreciative of them, but they wasn't appreciative of you. We have love call, yes, yeah, someone wants to express their love, that's that ace of cups. This person could want to come to your home for a wrongs, okay. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So they could have betrayed you with someone else, okay? Or just by listening to family and friends that was stopping and blocking this person from making a move to come towards you because the snake fell on the tennis sword. So this person was being very malicious towards you. And they could have had other people in their ears got, trying to tell them what it is that they need to do or should do. When it was all up to this person to make their decision. And then we have differences on Pandora by Genuine. So this person is saying that you made them feel different. Like you molded them. You you changed their world. You changed their life. You made them see from a different perspective. But this person still has some type of like toxicity lingering around. Lingering around. Keys on the ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah, this person wanted to string you along. Okay, why they sit up here and play two sides of the fence. Okay, whatever that is. This person felt like just by having you there or stringing you along, you was always going to be there. That's how this person felt. So they was like, okay, I know Divine Feminine loved me a lot. Okay, with the lovers and the ace of cups. I'm going to continue to betray her and keep betraying her with the tennis ball, keep letting her down. She's still going to be there. It's like this person wanted you to be a fucking flunky, I heard. Like this person wanted you to be oblivious. Thank you, Spirit. This person wanted you to be oblivious to what was really going on. But this person always liked you. I like you, okay? This person always loved the time and moments that y'all didn't share whether good or bad but this person chose to use take your kindness or the love that you gave for a weakness this person was taking advantage of you this person was definitely taking advantage of you. I gotta reach up to you give me more We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing up. Yes, we know this person is obsessed with you. Okay? 
they can't leave you alone. That's that devil energy. And you and you and this person definitely broke up. Y'all in separation. Like you don't even think or feel like you gonna get this person second chance. Okay? Because this person did abandon you. Like they left you all the way out completely. Definitely with your emotions, because this person was emotionally manipulative. Okay? Because they had whatever they was doing on the sideline or behind closed doors that they didn't want you to know. Whether you knew or not. But I feel as though Divine Feminist, y'all didn't know that this person was acting this way towards you until their true color started to come out and started to shift. Because this person definitely was gaslighting you. Get some more messages. It's like what I'm hearing is this person didn't want to believe in you. This person, it's like this person, you know how people believe in you, but they so in the now, okay? So they try to like keep you on the same level that they're on. Because they feel as though the way how they see they so far is their potential that they ace of is out here. This person felt like that they didn't have the potential within them. Okay. To make this relationship work is what I'm getting. Give me more spirit. Yeah, it wasn't love at first sight for me. So this person is saying that it wasn't love at first sight for them. Then what was it? That's what I'm saying. Like this person is in denial. Okay. Very much so. I can't do this anymore. So you're telling this person you can't do this anymore. We have, I need some space. So this person could have been telling you that they needed some space, okay? But it left room open for the relationship to just not even be worked out or even try to make the initiative with the food card to be worked on, okay? It's like this person was making excuses after excuse after excuse, okay? To act the way that there was that they was acting towards you. And that was real flaky. We have no, okay? So this person is saying no. Or you guys are. Forced love is not love. Yeah, it seemed like that you had like this person was forcing you to love them. Okay? But this person continued to stress you out. This person continued to manipulate you. Okay, and cause hell in your life with the devil in the towel and betray you. Over and over and over and over. Until you got tired of this person and you just completely left them out. Sometimes I feel worthless. Yeah, this person wanted you. To, I said that. This person was trying to make you feel worthless because that's how they were feeling. And we used to ever call that. Oh, okay, let's start. Let's see if we can get one more message. Yes, okay. So, whatever it is that you always wanted to ask your person, they said no. Okay, that was the first one. And then whatever it is that you had a feeling about, that you knew that your person was doing, okay, Spirit said yes, okay? So, whatever it was that you wanted to ask your person, Spirit said no. And whatever it is that you always knew and felt intuitively, okay, because you're tapped in, you guys know. Y'all already had this gut feeling about your person doing X, Y, Z. Okay? Yes. Spirit says yes. Got my cards upside down. Ten more messages, Spirit, for Divine Feminist. You have been the biggest lesson in my life. Yes, that's the world and the will of fortune. This person knows that. Because you the reason. When you came in, you changed this person's life. You really did. Because this person was so comfortable and staying in the same habits that they was doing all their life. Okay, this person felt like they didn't need to mature Queen of Cups. I mean, King of Cups. So you could be a Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and your person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 24, 44 was just on the clock. Like, this person needed to mature emotionally. This person felt like they didn't need to mature emotionally. 
This person feel like they can continue to play games. Okay, and, and, and play with people love and play with people heart. And string them along. That's that keys on the ring. This person felt like, oh, because you love them, they can you can they can string you along and cause a lot of stress in your life. Have you up all night going through anxiety? Depressed, crying on the pillow, questioning yourself, is it me? Or like is it something wrong with me? Like And that's what it is when it comes to men that still needs to mature and grow up and accept the fact that Rejection is okay nine times out of ten because most men is afraid of rejection. They don't want to accept being rejected by a woman. So they tend to come into another woman's life or someone else's life and cause hell in their life. All because you got rejected from someone in the past or rejected from rejected from somebody that you truly want. But you can't do that. Like just move on. There's other women out here. Okay, just because this one one this one female passed you up and then wants you. Or they see you as attractive, or whatever the case may be. That doesn't matter. It's other women out here that's going to find you attractive. Ace of Wands. It's going to find you appealing. Okay? Don't know women deserve to be treated like shit. At all. Point blank period. I don't care what no nobody say. No female. No woman. Okay? God didn't create women to be treated like shit and be walked over. Okay? The same way we give we we give birth, we create. And the men are supposed to basically help with stability, help to survive, okay? Be there as a backbone. Someone that's gonna make sure they're protecting you. Not somebody that's gonna sit up here and you got to sit up here and walk on eggshells because you don't know if this person going to harm you, kill you, or abuse you, or whatever. And don't get me wrong, us as women, we can't become oblivious to it because we love somebody so much and so hard that we don't even see or pay attention to the red flags that be right in front of us then and there. They'll be shown to us over and over time and time again. But because we love somebody so much, we put our own life in detriment. We put our own life in harm's way. Once you see the sign that this person is not giving you the proper love that's meant for you to have and receive, then it's time for you to take some steps back and remove yourself from it. Don't stay into something because you love somebody. I don't give a fuck how much you love somebody. Do you love yourself more than this person? Ain't no way in hell you should love yourself lesser than what the fuck you love the next man or the next woman. Because when you don't love yourself, you see and wonder why you repeatedly go through cycles that's not good or meant for you to continue to repeat. We all supposed to learn. Okay? I accept challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yes, those are challenges that we are supposed to experience and learn. Nine times out of ten, half of the people in the world don't even experience those. Those um, issues and problems when it comes to relationships. They just don't. I really, I believe, is what we put ourselves into and what we're willing to accept and allow. Okay? And we can't keep continuing to do that. Especially us as women. We accepting and allowing a little bit too much shit. Especially bullshit. I don't give a fuck if you single all your damn life and you happy within yourself and you're blessed and you take care of yourself and your family. It don't fucking matter what a man or the next bitch say. You feel me? Because if you're happy being all alone by yourself, to the day you die, kudos to you. The fact, don't sit up here and have no man or no woman in your life. And they causing you more hell than you cause your own self hell. Like, no, that ain't love. That shit is the devil. Ain't no way in hell you gonna be happy like that. Yeah, we go through trials and tribulations to learn. Not to sit up here and, and continue to live in trials and tribulations all our life. The fuck? Now we like hop on the ceiling. All my life I had to fight. I killed someone dead before I let him beat me. It should never get to that point. Like, never. Oh, okay, all my life I had to fight. You keep fucking around, not getting your warnings out the warnings, then it might get to that point. Yeah. But other than that, I'm not about to send up here, real life, be about to lose my insanity and go crazy over a man. Because there's other men out here that will do better, treat you better, 
respect you better, love you better, comfort to comfort you, protect you, provide for you. Okay, not these bums and scrubs. That's because they fucking emotionally immature. Okay, they ain't had no father figure to raise them in the right proper way or a mother to show them what love is. They said they think that they can walk all over women and treat women like shit. Fuck no. You better get the fuck on with that shit. But yes, my divine feminines, my beautiful, beautiful goddesses, stay up, stay prayed up. Protect yourself at all times. Do not fall short to these men and their fucking trickery. Because that's all it is. For some pussy. And it's never that serious. For some pussy. Let this man show you and appreciate you firsthand. Once you see the signs and you you see the signs, keep it the fuck moving. Dodge that shit. So my beautiful babies, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification so you know when your girl posting that. Peace.